Let's talk about the SEC right quick and maybe a little bit of a timetable here that came more into focus. Now, we talked about the Big 12 going ahead and adding UCF, Cincinnati, Houston, and BYU to start the 2023 season. And what that would mean, having Texas and Oklahoma in the conference, that would mean that you have 14 teams. The schedule would be a little crazy. But the issue here is that the buyout does not drop at all. So if Texas and Oklahoma want to leave early, they still are going to have to pay the same price. Uh, their grant of media rights is is pretty locked tight, apparently, because there have been people trying to figure out a way to get out of this, and then they finally said, you know what, we'll just play it out. We're not going to pay them. We're just going to leave when it's time. And that appears to be what's happening because the ESPN chairman, uh, Jimmy Pitaro, reiterated that the Longhorns and the Sooners are not going to join the SEC until 2025, which means that the ESPN SEC contract is going to start in 2024 before Texas know you join. I'm a little bit shocked that they didn't find a way to get that done earlier. And obviously, this is still fluid. They could still find a way to buy out. If things don't go well in 2023, they may try and figure out a way to get it done sooner. But, I mean, at that point, you'd have to get it done before the summer of 2024. I mean, it's just, there's there's a lot that goes into this. Um It says the Big 12 will be the home of the Oklahoma Sooners and the Texas Longhorns for a few more seasons if a top ESPN executive is to be believed. Uh, It says a top executive. Jimmy Pitaro is the top executive at ESPN. He makes a lot of these decisions, so he would know. He would know about all of this. Um, He said in an interview with the Athletics Richard Deitch uh, that Texas and Oklahoma will indeed remain in the Big 12 until 2025, He said, uh, among other things, that the network will be broadcasting one non-conference game for every SEC team every year, starting with 14 total games in 2024, and they'll be bumping it up to 16 total games in 2025 when Oklahoma and Texas join the conference. Uh, That seems a little little strange, right? Are they going to put all of the other non-conference games on ESPN+, etc.? You know, we haven't seen the full details about all of this yet. So, with that, I I don't know exactly what to make of this. But, I mean, you are going to have 16 non-conference games. Between all these teams, no, you'll have 16 times 4 at that point, unless we move into a 9-game schedule, which it appears that the current ESPN contract with the SEC does not give the SEC any more money to play 9 So we may be looking at a 1-7 model. I mean, just go ahead and prepare for that. Go ahead and prepare for it. It's, uh, It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.